Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. Man, what's up everybody? It's Chaos here and man, I got a good one for you guys today. So earlier in the year, I gave you guys a quick adjustments video. In that video, I showed you guys how to adjust each player on the field without having to click off your user and click onto the other player that you wanted to adjust. Now, if you guys are interested in that, I will link it in the cards above right here where you guys can go to that video and see how to do the exact quick adjustments. But today, I'm going to be breaking down what to do with those adjustments. So now that you know how to do the coverage adjustments, I can show you guys what different reasons why you would use them to stop certain routes. And then I'm going to go over a couple tough routes to guard. That's going to be the corner route and the post. So those two routes, especially when there's a streak on the field, are extremely difficult to guard. So I'll be breaking down the different zones that you guys can use to guard that, as well as pretty much any route in the game by specifically going over each part of the field that each zone guards. Believe it or not, there's someone in the comments section right now commenting, if you're so smart and you know about what every zone does, how come you're not the Madden Classic champion? I would think if you knew that much, you'd be the champion. Well, let me tell you something, sir. You would be mean. Very quickly, I do want to give you guys a like goal. So if we get 500 likes on this video, I will drop you guys my top five favorite adjustments in the entire game of Madden 20. So today I'm showing you guys what all the adjustments can cover and what all they can do. And then I'll break down for you guys next time the top five favorite ones that I have, as well as a couple secret ones that you probably don't even know about. Alright, so we'll get started here. Now I showed you guys last video how to quick adjust all your players on the field. Whether that be putting your D lineman in a spy. Maybe it'd be putting your middle linebacker or your outside linebacker in a mid read. Or maybe it's just putting your outside corner in a deep third or a soft squat. I showed you guys all those coverage adjustments and what the button combinations are in order to do those things. Now for this video, you guys might be wondering, why would I want to make those changes? How does it help me stop my opponent to put this guy in a deep third? To put this guy in a soft squat? To put this guy in a spy? I'm going to be showing you guys that today. In order to do that, I'm going to be using the Gun Bunch. It has a lot of different corner routes and posts and things that you can use to help show you where you can use different zones to help stop, right? So maybe they're running uh, Cover 3 Sky, right? And Cover 3 Sky, they're usually going to use a hard flat and they're going against Stick. So you guys see here, shaded down, this corner route is going to get open. They're playing Cover 3 Sky and they're running this corner route and they're killing you with it, right? So that gets open. Now it looks like you probably click on, but you, you really can't. I, I could pass later. There's a lot of different things I can do. I'll show you it one more time. It's going to get open. And essentially, so the way you're going to want to guard that is by putting a cloud flat, right? And maybe if they put that cloud flat, you're going to stop it, but then they can do something else to attack the other side of the field. So you want to go to Tampa 2. You're like, okay, they're killing me with that. Let me go to Tampa 2 so I can stop this corner out. Now they're going to be forced to throw this flat underneath and they're probably going to get like a yard or two because it's not... It's not that great this year, the guys rallied to it. I'm using two controllers, so I probably got it like an extra yard or two, but for the most part, it's gonna do a good job against stick. But then, okay, now they wanna to go to mesh post, and Tampa 2 is gonna get killed by that, right? So this is their user. If they're in a Tampa 2, I'll show you guys quickly the play art. This is gonna be their user, most likely. I'm just gonna man it up on the flat, get them out of the way, just to show you guys that this Tampa 2, this uh, cloud flat, I mean, this, this post route is gonna get open across the middle, right? So then they hit you with the post across the middle, and that gets open. Now, you want to be able to stop that, but you still want to be able to stop stick on the right. So now, they're in Tampa 2, and you want to be able to stop that post route, but you don't want to have to put a mid-read out there, right? Because a mid-read will guard it, but it's only going to guard in the middle of the field. It was it might get over to the sideline and beat you over the top, right? Or maybe they have Tom Brady or Kurt Warner, and they're able to put this post route, and it's going to beat everything over to the sideline, right? Now, I'm using my deep half. So he was down low because I had touched him, but you guys can see this guy gets across the mid read and gets wide open underneath this deep, uh, underneath these deep zones. So you see here the mid read does nothing against this post route, and if my user safety wasn't here, he would have been back here across from this safety. He'll be wide open. So I'll show you that quickly one more time, and then I'll show you guys how you can do both things to stop both stick and mesh post but it's basically just a concept to help you guys know what you need to be doing to stop your opponent so right there that post beats uh the cover two uh zones out there but you want that cover to those cover two zones in order to stop the stick uh stick concept so now we're gonna go to we're gonna stay in our tampa two but we're gonna start quick adjusting so now i'm gonna put my outside corner in deep third and i'm gonna put my middle safety in a uh deep third now if you don't want to click onto them you can do him as well to quick adjust them and now you have 
like a, a kind of a cover six look basically because you have the two deep thirds and they could they usually would be deep quarters if you're on cover six but it still works this way and then you have the deep half on the right so you essentially have a cover two set up on the right with your vert hook cloud deep half and then you have the two deep thirds i was able to quick adjust that and do that myself i didn't have to call a play i was able to come on in tampa two and build this and then you still have some other guys that you want to work with if you wanted to spy or anything of that nature now basically you're set back up here and if i wanted to quick adjust that guy i can i'll be putting all these quick adjustments and how to do them in the description but like i said in the prior video which is in the cards i will break down for you guys i break down for you guys how to do these adjustments but back to it here i'm showing you guys now this deep third is going to uh, do a lot better job at playing this post across the middle so i try to throw it and the deep third is out there and he's able to get a pick but I didn't have to sacrifice my coverage on the right side to stop the stick route from Bunch. As you see here, if I go back to stick, you're gonna be able to still stop that stick route while also preparing for mesh post across the middle. So you guys see here, if they're in stick, you're still gonna be able to get stopped by it because they still have that deep half, uh, that cloud flat over there, right? Now, I didn't have a click on, that's gonna be a pick. It's not just gonna be an incompletion, that's gonna be a pick. So that just shows you guys why you would be coverage adjusting. Adjusting Now, I'm gonna start to show you guys what different zones are gonna help you guard the most tough routes to guard, which is gonna be corner routes and posts. So we're gonna start off with the corner route. Now you guys see I'm in Tampa 2. I'm coming out in Z-Spot, Z-Spot's a very good corner route, it's gonna get over clouds, it's gonna get very deep on the field, right? So if they have the cloud flat out there, it's gonna try its best to guard it, it's actually gonna drop back decently far, especially after the patch, but it's not gonna be able to guard it, it's just gonna get over the top of it. And I'll show you guys that here. Now, that might be what you want. You might just want it to guard it for a little bit. That's cool. Now, he got bumped a lot, which took him a little bit while to get out there, and it was able to stay underneath it. That might be what you want. If you're sending pressure, the cloud flat will do because I'm not going to have that much time in the pocket. The soft squad will work as well. But maybe you want to play coverage, and you want to be like, I don't want to go up that corner route. I want to stop it, right? So if they're not motioning out a streak, what you can do, this is one way to stop it, is a deep third. So I'm going to put this out here. Baseline press version of the deep third or just a regular press version of the deep third is going to work. Now, I prefer to do press, but that's your guys' call. You can share underneath. It's going to do fine. Now, something that you might want to note is that you're going to want your deep third to be in the middle section if they're doing a corner on the right, just so you can't get beat over the top. Now, you could just put this guy right here in the deep third, which I can do right now with my quick adjustments. Just another way to use it and put him in there. And then you can put this guy in a hook curl or something. Put this guy in a mid read, put this guy in the hard flat, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You guys can do that on the quick adjustments. You guys can do that however which way you want, right? It doesn't matter. But essentially, you're going to be, we're focusing here on the corner route getting guarded by this deep third. So they have the streak here, and you're going to see it's going to be able to bite back down, match on this corner route. And I clicked onto the wrong guy, but you guys see he was clearly there, and I'll jump into the replays to show that he was there. A deep third is going to match any corner route unless they motion out the streak on the right to push it back. So as you guys see here, he drops, but then he matches back and he's there to guard it. Now, if I didn't grab Edelman, it would have been probably a contested catch incompletion right here on the sidelines. But since I accidentally grabbed Edelman, he ended up picking it. But as you guys see, that guards the corner route. So this is the chess match at Madden. They're running stick, right, which I talked about earlier. And that's a short corner route, so you don't want to be in a cover three. But now they go to Z spot. And you do want the deep third. That's just going to be you guys deciding. That's what makes a bunch of good offense. They have the short corner out. They have the deep corner out. But maybe you're playing an offense with only a deep corner out. Maybe they just have the bench corner outs this, this year, which are very, very long. They get over clouds, but they're going to not get. They're going to get matched by uh, deep thirds on the outside. Then you can just play a cover three show. Keep take, take that away. Don't even worry about any short corner routes, and you're going to be good. Maybe they use the hot route specialist corner route. It's going to be the same deal. If you go out there with deep thirds, you're going to be able to guard that and. That's what's so great about it. So I'm gonna quick adjust here to put this guy in a deep third. But you guys can see here, I was able to do all that with this defense. Now, they have this uh, hot round specialist uh, corner route, but it's still gonna get matched by the deep third on the outside. And you guys see, contested play, ended up getting an interception. That's, what the, that's what's so great about these quick adjustments. Let's go back now. Maybe you wanted to keep a deep half on the left. It's the same thing we did before. You want to stay in your cover two shell because you want the cloud flat on the left. Maybe you want to play man to man on the outside right here, right? And leave your deep half. But now you want the cover three shell on the right and you can create it. All from quick adjustments, I just did all that, right? And then maybe you want to uh, put a hard flat on the right. Bam. 
Now you have a great defense set up. You're going to be able to man the ISO side, and maybe you want to uh, man up this guy too. Take away the whole right side, uh, whole left side, excuse me, with man to man, and now you have a cover three shell on the right where you're going to take away the deep corner out because you want to worry about maybe a drag coming back side. So maybe this is their setup. If they're in Z spot, maybe this is their setup, or maybe it's this. Either way, they're both taken away by man to man on the left. You don't have to worry about the drag or the wheel. And you can kind of just sit in the middle of the field waiting for things because you know that the, the uh, Z spot routes can get taken away as well. So if you just hike it here, you guys are seeing the drags taken away, the wheels taken away, the deep third matches with the corner route, and you get another stop. It's really simple, guys. It's just adjusting to whatever's going to guard the corner route. Now, I talked about before, maybe you're sending pressure and you, you don't want to have to put a deep third out there. Maybe you just want to leave your cloud flat to worry about stick because that's a quick hitting route. So maybe they're in Z spot and you are sending pressure at them. So let's just go right here. And I like to put a backed off soft squat. I feel like a backed off soft squat is going to do a really good job against corner routes. And then we're sending pressure. And this is what it looks like. So we're sending the whole team here, right? Maybe you want to man up the guy on the back side. This thing's going to do a good enough job against the corner route before they get sacked here. So I'm going to max protect uh, right here. Max protect here and do the same exact concept we were doing. Now it's gonna get over the soft squad eventually, but it's not gonna have enough time to get over because we know we're sending pressure. So it's just knowing what you want in the field before you can do it. See, that's actually a perfect uh, replay for me to show you guys here. If we go to this corner route, you guys are gonna see this soft squad does drop down at the end, but he's guarding it. You can't throw it yet. You can't throw it yet. You can't throw it yet. You can't throw it. You can't throw it. Okay, now you could have thrown it, but guess what? They sent seven at you and you're sacked. If you know you're sending pressure, you can take away the quick hitting routes like stick. So if they're in stick, uh, excuse me here. If they're in stick, that's going to be a quick hitting route. This corner route is going to get open very quick. Even if you send pressure, if you play hard flats or something, uh, like out of a cover three or a cover two, that corner route is going to be so fast that you can throw it right away. But if you think that they're not going to have enough time, it doesn't matter because you can just put cloud flat out there, take that away, and if they, even if they happen to go to a deep corner route like this, you know they're not going to be able to throw it and you don't have to worry about it. Those are the different ways that you can guard corner routes. Deep thirds are great and they're going to help you out a lot of stopping a corner route, even if there's a streak there. And then if you want short corner routes, cloud flats are going to do. Now I will show you guys now, if you guys if they motion out a streak to guard corner routes, this is the last way that you're going to want to guard it. So. Let's jump on over here. We're in cover three to stop that corner route from Z spot, but they're motioning out a streak now. That's gonna push that deep third back and keep him from matching. Here's the last way that you wanna guard it. It's gonna be either obviously usering it or man to man. So I'm gonna jump into the next one where we're gonna be with slot cornerbacks where I can show you guys how you can man up these corner routes and take them away. All right, so we're back now with our cover three set up, but we're motioning out a streak to push him back. It's no longer gonna be able to match this corner route, but you can stop it because you can man up probably Obviously, you're going to want to use your best corner if you're going to be manning people up, but it doesn't have to be. So I have Greedy Williams out here. Just a fast corner, not, not anything crazy. If I was going to absolutely want to take away this corner out 1 million percent, I'd probably use Denzel Ward. But Greedy Williams is going to do, especially with this corner out, and that just comes with knowing the game. I know the Z-Spot corner out. I know it can be manned up. There's one or two routes in the game that are going to struggle to be manned up unless you have like a Stephon Gilmore or like someone crazy out there. But for the most part, you can man up these corner routes if you have other zones to kind of pack around it, right? So even if you want to, if you know they're going to max protect and not put a flat out there, you can even put cloud flats to even help you with this bracket. But you're going to want to man up Greedy Williams on Edelman and then just watch him go to work here. So, and, and Edelman's not like a sleepy route runner either, but you can see he's completely bracketed. So... Obviously, you don't want to have to resort to man every single time to stop this route because if they see that you're manning up RB every single time, they can obviously put a uh, man beating route on him, a curl, uh, a hot route specialist post, something of that nature. It can help you. But as you guys see here, man up the corner route and he just completely runs it for him. Not even that great of a corner. Greedy Williams, 93 speed. Yeah, he's fast, but he doesn't even need the speed on this play. Look at this. He's with him the whole time. He doesn't need to catch up and have any gaining speed. He literally can just guard it the whole time, and that's a 69 overall corner. So that's how you guard corner routes, guys. If it's a deep one, you're going to want to hot route your deep thirds. If you want to keep your cover two shell on the backside, that's fine. But if you want to stop short corner routes, you're going to want your cloud. And if they're motioning out a streak to beat your deep third with a deep corner route, man it up. 
maybe mess around with some shading shade outside shade inside whatever you guys want to do maybe have your best corner there if they have a really really good route runner or a corner route specialist out there put your best corner on it let him work and that's how you stop corner routes now let's get into posts so similarly to the corner routes, I'm going to show you guys multiple ways to stop posts in this game. And I'm going to start off with probably the most famous post that's out there, and that's going to be mesh posts. So you guys see we're in a cover two. Now in a cover two, most of the time, I'm sure you guys are usually uh, using this mid read, right? But mid reads are going to be probably the best post stoppers in this game, especially that mesh post one. So maybe you want to use this guy. This is who you want to play on. But you can quick adjust this guy right here, put him in a mid read, and then put your guy in whatever you want as you user him. So I'm just going to put him in a spy, but this is who we're using. Just imagine on that play, that spy. Now watch this mid read, it's going to do a great job with this post. It's going to hold off just long enough until it gets to the deep path and the deep path can make a play. Now I'm going to try my best to click on. You're going to have to forgive me, I'm using two controllers, it's not that easy. But I will show you guys that you can definitely click on and make this play on this guy. So I throw it right there, click on, and I actually go for the and get a pick on it, which is perfect. Now obviously we're both going to be trying to get good animations on it if we're both uh, different players but since I'm using two controllers it's not easy to do but you guys can see here this is about as early as I can throw it so I'm just gonna turn around here give you guys a better camera angle and watch this mid read right here as he drops so as he drops you guys see here you're waiting waiting that's about the first time you can throw it you guys see I press the button he's already in his throwing animation right when he hasn't even passed him yet I can just see him passing so it's about as early as you can throw it I click onto this safety and I'm able to make a play so mid reads number one are gonna do a good job now something else you might be able to do is against this mid read you can probably pass lead it up against the cover two to help uh, knock that out right so right there I pass lead it up and the guy doesn't get animation that's something that you might be able to do just because it's a cover two in the middle of the field is not going to be that guarded but the mid read does a pretty good job as you guys are seeing at knocking this thing out I'm trying to pass lead it up but it's not easy to get a great animation on it the mid read is knocking the ball out and obviously I showed you guys if you wait too long the deep path will click on and pick it now something that will get open is this hot route specialist post. So if people are using Kurt Warner, or maybe they're using a slot apprentice, something like that, they're able to put this shorter post on it. This shorter post is actually gonna beat the mid read and beat the vert hooks and get to a perfect spot underneath the deep path. That's not gonna get stopped by the mid read. So it's just like it was before with the corner routes. Maybe the guy's hitting you with the short corner route, you put the cloud, right? If they're hitting you with the deep corner route, you put the deep third. Same game again. If they're hitting you with this mesh post post, they don't have a hot route specialist, go ahead and put the mid read with the deep path. But if they're hitting you with this short post, or maybe they're mixing in a little bit of both, you can start quick adjusting once again. Maybe you want to do this. Put these both guys in, in thirds, creating yourself a little bit of a cover six look again, and maybe put this guy out here in a hard flat. Uh, right there. Or you can quick adjust it, same thing as before, put him in the hard flat. Now you have basically a cover six look with the cover two on the right and the cover three uh, deep third zones on the left. Now you're going to see if I put this, uh, if I leave this deep post here the mid read is going to guard it right so it's still taken away just like before I'll go to the replace and show you guys that and then we'll show the short post on the back side so you guys see here the mid read guards it just like you did before no changes to that he takes it away you can't throw it yet if you pass lead it up the deep thirds right there to make a play and then as he goes this deep third is going to be over here to make the play on it so really that post is completely bracketed around the zones right okay so now i'm going to show you guys the shorter post you guys are going to see i'm going to create the same exact setup on the left just like before the cover six look if you guys want to put this guy in the mid read and use her here uh right here feel free just put him in a spy to signify that that's the user but you're going to see this post is going to be bracketed just like before and the deep third's gonna be able to click on and pick it off, right? Plan is day, and I'm gonna show you guys in the replay, there was really no time that I was able to throw this poster out the way that I was when there was no deep third there, and it was a cover two. So you guys are gonna see here, the mid read still taking away this post, taken away, can't really throw it. Uh, you have the vert hook underneath as well. Right here, maybe you could throw it, but this is about the time that I start throwing the ball anyways. Um, and you guys see, it looks open right now, but you have this deep third squatting right underneath it and you're able to click on and get this pick and to be completely honest with you it's tough to see this i mean look at this guy squatting he looks like he could be a cloud like cloud could be a cloud look at me squatting already could be a cloud i might throw that to be honest i might throw that pick because i can't tell that that's a deep third out there it looks like a flat zone to me and that's why it does such a good job and so that this setup right here is able to stop both post setups because you have the mid read like i said before taking away the 
put this guy in a mid read, put this guy in a spy to signify the user. You have the mid read taking away the deep post early, right? And then you have the deep throw that's still gonna pick that off. And then you have the short one, which the mid read takes away for a second. If it's a cover two, you can easily fit it in over the bird hook. But now we have a deep throw on the right, so it's a lot harder to guard. So you guys are seeing here, there's really no time where you can throw it. Um, it's tough, man. I can try to fit in a little small window over there, but like right here, I'm gonna try to do it one more time. It's not gonna be the it's not gonna be the easiest window to fit the ball into, just simply because you have so much going on. There's so many like different zone different zones out there that are focused on it. Like that's probably the best spot. And you guys see without a click on the guy even comes down and swats it. So like this looks like the little pocket that it fits best into but you guys can see it's taken away. So that's basically what the zones are gonna do for you guys. I don't need to break down for you guys vert hooks and hook curls. They're gonna play those little zones and they're not gonna play much else. The yellows just aren't great this year. Mid reads are gonna be useful for you against posts. And then basically the sum of the video was utilizing your covered shell setups. So if you come out in Tampa 2, you can't just leave a stock Tampa 2 every single play. Maybe you need to build a cover three on the back side. Maybe you wanna build the cover three on the bunch side. You don't know what you want to do until you see what your opponent's doing, but when you see it, whether they're running deep corner routes, short corner routes, you guys now know what zones you want out there to stop those, and you guys can do a better job to combat them. Now, it is going to be a chess match. Like I said, it's not perfect where you can put every single different zone and stop everything, right? There was different things that you had to do to stop each certain combo, but there was different setups that you could do your best job of, and then you have your user to make up the rest. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope it showed you guys what you could quick adjust. I hope it showed you guys where you can do against corner routes and posts, probably the two toughest things to guard in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. If you guys haven't checked out the other video to see how to do the hot routes, uh, excuse me, the quick adjustments on your defense, make sure you guys check that out, but take it easy. Peace.